live. So, um, yeah, let me just share that on all the social medias and then we'll hop into some Animal Crossing. So yeah, unfortunately I had to cancel Star Wars RPG stream today, just was not feeling up to it. And even Animal Crossing here, doing later than I was hoping, but we are getting to it. We are going to sell those turnips from last week, hopefully at least a decent price. And hopefully it's not too late in the day to get the uh, dump model from Tartimer since it's spring cleaning today. Let's just hop right in, get right to it. Trantor, May 1st, 7.34. All good, all good in the neighborhood. And yeah. Um, so for anyone wondering why though I canceled Star Wars RPG today, and why I'm so late for storing this, is just had a stressful situation today where I went to withdraw um, some cash from the ATM for rent, and it said, uh, it said insufficient funds. And I checked, and I had $1,700 less than I should have in my account, putting me not only into, you know, my overdraft, but close to maxing out my overdraft, which also, like, you know, 17 hundred dollars is, you know, a bit much to just, you know, be randomly missing. Turns out it was a, com it was because of a, a um, computer glitch, so A, it wasn't any mistake on my part, B, it wasn't uh, anything malicious, it was, but did mean I had to go into the bank and get things sorted out and figure out, well, figure out what had happened and get that sorted out and such. And that just kind of really, really drained me. Uh, yeah, do I just need a flame umbrella? I know that. Okay. HRA, Tom Nook, setting ranch couch. But yeah. Uh, we found that yesterday. So, yeah, I don't know. Let's grab my fossils. Oh, actually, let's grab this and this and this and this. And I should have one more fossil from yesterday, right? Am I just... Oh, right here. <laughs> just wasn't seeing it. Okay. And let's go uh, do our exploration. But yeah. How's everyone else doing, though? Hopefully y'all are having a good day. Hopefully no one else is having any kind of uh, extra stressful situations today. But, uh, you know, is what it is. Just, you know, it's been dealt with, like, you know, I mean, or it's, it's technically being dealt with. Um, technically, I think it's it'll be on Monday where the money will actually be back in my account. But along with, you know, overdraft fees also being paid back since, like, it's not my fault I went to overdraft. And for anyone, like, wondering what the technical thing was, because I guess, like, it's a thing, I guess, these days where I don't, I don't use checks, so I was kind of aware of this. Oh, don't we have Wendell in our other town today? Because we're having him here soon, too. Yeah, with checks wherever you can just deposit them electronically by scanning them or whatever. And somebody with an account number very similar to mine had written out a check and signed it, and when they signed it, it their signature kind of went lower than it should and went over their account number and that's when it got scanned the computer read their account number as my account number thus that's what so thus this check 
that was written by some complete stranger to me ended up, you know, uh, when it got cash, it ended up coming out of my account instead of their account because of computer misreading the account number. Gotta love, gotta love technology. Oh. But, you know, it is what it is. Happened. But it's being resolved and such. But just, you know, because of the whole, you know, extra social interaction. Um, we should actually check. Ed is new today. Extra, unex extra unexpected social interaction, you know, in addition to money-related stress, kind of adds up. Hey, Aquafox, how's it going? How are you doing? So, still a bit, uh, you know, even though it's been resolved, I am still stressed out, kind of stressing out, oh, or not stressing out. Not stressing out person, just still stressed. From it, I should say. But yeah. Mm. But, you know. It is what it is. It happened. It's being resolved. And so. It is what it is. Okay. And luckily. Um, luckily, like, my landlord is a friend of mine, so, like, you know, wasn't any issue to explain to him, hey, rent's gonna be a couple days late because of, you know, factors literally outside of my control. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they're all talking about Wendell, so I'm pretty sure he's coming here soon. And I'm pretty sure... Let me actually just check to confirm... Yeah, he should be in my other town today, so then probably coming here, like, tomorrow or Monday. Um... Pro... something like that. Yeah. Although, tomorrow, I may end up, I'm thinking I might skip tomorrow's Animal Crossing stream. Want to, want to be able to sleep in a bit tomorrow. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see how I'm feeling. But, yeah. Honestly, I probably would have skipped today's stream completely if it weren't for, you know, uh, the fact that I still have all those turnips to get that I need to sell before they go bad, and, uh, and, uh, the fact that it's spring cleaning today, which, fingers crossed, it's not too late to get the dump model from Torma, because I know, I remember... In my, when I was playing my other town, I think before I lost that one, there was one holiday or special day or whatever where, you know, I played in, later in the evening and Tortimer was gone already by that point. But I don't remember, but I don't remember wh what time that was or which holiday that even was. So, yeah. We have cards for Chester Town and Pinky Rabbit. Oh, nice. They were late, to be fair, but better you got them at some point. I mean, yeah. I mean, that's the thing with, like, um, with mail right now, it's not always, you know, mail sometimes, sometimes gets, takes longer. The important thing is that you get it eventually. Although, you know, yeah. 
Sorry, my brain is all over the place right now. I do apologize. Okay. Um, they were delivered months ago. <laughs> oh yeah, that's, uh, yeah. That's something then. Actually, let's check what turnip prices are here. 95, okay. Hopefully they're better in the other town. Um, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Items. Yeah, but, but at least you got them now. At least you do have them now, even if, uh, you know, it took time. Okay. Let's see if there's anything here we need. Obviously we're buying everything regardless for the uh, raffle tickets, but let's see if we actually get anything. Vibraphone? Is that something we need? I don't know. T U. Nah, this is just for the raffle ticket. Just for the raffle ticket, you see. That's all that is to me. At least you know they weren't lost, yep. Cabin table. We have everything from the cabin series. So that extra stress from today is not going to help with my back pain. Bird feeder we've already got. Uh, ranch couch. Do, are we still missing anything from the ranch series? A ranch chair. I mean, if we cut this in half, it'll be a chair, right? Or just a really... Actually, we'll just say it's a really wide chair. Right? That, that, that makes sense. That's logical. Just a really wide chair. A melon chair. M. E. No, that's not new. Hey Todd, welcome in. How's it going? How are you doing? And finally, the Regal table. We need something for the... No, we don't even need something for the Regal series. We've got everything from the Regal series. Everything I tell you. Everything. Hey, Dragonfly, welcome in. How's it going? How are you doing? Okay, so... Nothing new here at the store today. That's fine. That's fine. Um, but nothing else we're getting, uh... Getting, uh, whatchamacallit? Rival tickets. That's the word. Work on your islands. You just... Well, hold it again. Nice, nice. Good stuff. How's that? How's working on it going? Okay. Let's sell all that back. And, um, yeah. Then buy some more. Bye, bye, bye. Buy it all. All of it. Everything. And that's how we get the raffle tickets. First we buy the things, then we get the raffle tickets, then we win the raffle prizes. Um, collecting items you are doing Spooky Island Contest this October. Oh nice, good stuff, good stuff. Should be uh, fun. Blossoming shirt. Okay. What was everyone think? Do I already have... Now, ignore the fact that I said I already have everything here, but do you think I already have the fortune shirt? Hmm. It's almost like I'm wearing it already. <laughs> Huge prizes and even those who don't win still leave with parting gifts. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Yeah, because for anyone who hasn't been here for my past few streams, I guess since, what was it, 
Tuesday, I guess. Um, and didn't see the tweets on Twitter. Um, I now know for clothing, I have... Uh, for standard clothing. Gracie clothing, it's almost upper category, obviously. But for standard clothing, I now have everything... I have everything that's currently available. Because, yes, not only is clothing, seasonal actually did find online where it listed which seasons each standard clothing is available in, and everything I'm missing, or the majority of what I'm missing of the standard clothing is either summer or fall with one or two in winter. So I'm missing, I have everything that's available in the spring, I have everything that's available year-round, so I have to wait till summer to actually get new clothing again. Um, which is later this month. I think it's like, I think I was reading that the start of summer in Animal Crossing, in this Animal Crossing at least, I don't know if it's different in the later ones, but in this one at least, uh, May 27th, I want to say, is the official, like, start of summer in the game, as far as that kind of stuff goes. I haven't streamed over two weeks, but you're about still in a wheelchair to the inf no worries. You know, you've got to, uh, you know, you gotta help out, gotta do all that stuff. It is, you know, you know, makes perfect sense that you can't, uh, stream and such. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta prioritize what you gotta prioritize. Uh, what am I doing here? Sell. Sell, sell, sell. Sell, oh. Goes back on Monday for a follow-up. Ho hopefully, yeah. Fingers crossed. Okay, let's go drop these raffle tickets off back at home. And then continue our exploration of town. And then... Yeah. Um, so three we can just drop here. Start. Start. The official start of my May raffle ticket collection. Which, I mean. As we saw in April, I, I may not, like, in cause April I had pretty much each of those, but I, I had each of those filled, plus I had a f few more just on the floor, and we only used, like, a tiny fraction of them before winning all three prizes in both towns, aka all six prizes total. So you know what happened to the rest of them? They're all over here around the dump. Or in the dump. Oh, interesting. There's actually nothing in the dump. I specifically left two spots open so that stuff would still appear on the dump, but I guess that didn't happen. That's no worries, though. Probably wouldn't have been stuff I needed anyway. Um, okay, we talked to Frigga, we talked to Kashmir, we talked to Pippi, talked to Vladimir, talked to Punchy, talked to Goose, and Cupcake, okay. Oh. First fossil of the day. What is it? I mean, we don't know what it is until we send it in. Ooh, I'm down to just uh, one set of stationery. Should have maybe bought some more. Why well, is that nooks? No, nah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Because I was just thinking I'm going to use this all up before I'm done. But no, I actually... Pr unless I get lucky and find the fossil I've missed the last two days, I'm only going to be needing four of those pieces of paper anyway. Three for fossils and one for a uh, welcome letter to our new villager. Which is that Ed, I think? Look at the map earlier. Uh, talk to me. Okay. So what's everyone been up to this weekend? Anyone do anything interesting? Obviously, like, I worked today and then 
had the whole bank money situation thing that I was explaining earlier. Um, and then, yeah. Stream the new Pokemon Snap. Oh, nice, nice. How are you enjoying that? Uh, oh, right. Gyroids in town today because it was raining yesterday. Yeah, I watched a bit of a stream of that the other day. Uh, yesterday, I think. Only caught a bit of it, though. Looks like a lot of fun, though, and I really want to play it eventually. Even though it'll probably be a wait, long wait, wait until I'm able to, but... It's alright, moved a bit slow. Ha ha have you played the original Pokémon Snap? Um, yes, Wendell. Um... When? When? When is he coming here? May 3rd. Oh, that's awesome. That's Monday. I was worried it was going to be tomorrow because we m might not be streaming Animal Crossing tomorrow. Just so that I can, like, uh, not stress over waking up earlier. It moves even slower than the old one. I feel like the one directed with you less. Interesting. Okay. Although... Fossil number two. Seems scripted to do one thing and only one thing only. Don't you deviate from that. Interesting. Off the... I definitely have to watch some more... Uh, streams of it to get a good idea of it, but yeah. And I definitely definitely want to play it eventually myself, but that'll be, like I said, a ways away. Just, you know, it'll be a while until I'm able to buy it for a variety of reasons, but hopefully eventually. It's relaxing. I mean, it, it, it's, it's a game about taking pictures of Pokemon, like, <laughs> if, 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 you know, obviously it's not going to be like, you know, a super fast-paced thrill ride. It's not supposed to be. Uh, eating, sleeping, both. Yes. Okay. Pokemon Snap Extreme Edition. I'm gonna miss actually. Well, we found two of the gyroids, but only one fossil. And here is our newest villager. Yep. Uh, so let's uh, write a letter to this Ed, if that is his real name. Welcome. To Tran Tor. Okay. Ooh. Glowing spot. Yeah. So I also have to. Con I'm not gonna worry about today, but. We are now in May, which means I have three more fish and one more insect available to catch. Well, three more fish, because technically one of them is a frog, which isn't actually a fish, but, you know. <laughs> it is what it, you know, it, it, it gets listed on the fish page, so. Yeah. And that'll, once we catch those, that'll put us up to 31 out of 40 fish, which is awesome. Everything is perfect. I love that message. It's, it's, it's such, and no Tortimer. No Tortimer. Damn. 
Well, um, um, so I guess let's say pre seven PM, possibly even pre six PM, because that'll be so. I guess we'll be. Animal Crossing will be going at least until next May 1st. Animal Crossing streams. The original Animal Crossing streams here. To 100% the game because it's too late for the spring cleaning. Um, getting the dump model. Um, what day of the week is May 1st next year? Next year it's on a Sunday. Okay. Well, if we're still doing Animal Crossing Sunday mornings for uh, turnips next year, at least that will be um, at least that'll be decent as far as that goes. Okay. Uh, what's the next holiday as of right now? May 9th. The lovely phone. May 9th is a Sunday. Okay, so that'll be yeah, fine. Well, I figured it might be too late. I was I was hoping it wouldn't be. I'm doing one more run around just to double check. I'm actually gonna do a quick um, Google search see if I can actually get a more specific time. Spring cleaning. Animal Crossing. Nookopedia just says all day. Mm. Yeah. I'm guessing that my actual guess is like I said, it goes till 6 p.m. But who knows? Maybe it's till seven p.m. But we, but we're we're after seven p.m. Um, so that's why I wrote down pre seven p.m. because that's you know my best guess. Actually, what I should write down is just because actually by this time next year I may have forgotten my thought process. Pre 7 p.m. or earlier. There we go. The or or earlier. Mm. No, um. Maybe earlier. There we go. That that way I'll know what I mean. That 7 p.m. is definitely too late. Or like, yeah, post 7 p.m. is definitely too late, but even 7 p.m. itself, like, you know, might be maybe pre 6 p.m. I don't know. It'll make sense to me. That's the important thing. Because... As long as I know what I'm doing I can make sense of things that I do mostly generally okay um brainwave what What's... my brain is all literally all over the place today um oh, I found all three gyroids though that's cool Let's go talk to Doc. I think this is Doc's house. Or classroom. Are you a teacher? You're asking me to be a janitor? Like. <laughs> this is a classroom. He, he, he lives in a classroom. I'm not sure if I should be weirded out by that. Nibbles, how's it going? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a very cool design. Yeah, don't get me wrong. <laughs> just, uh, just, uh, just make it fun. Um, that's fine. I actually like, I like, I like the niblet thing she says. The villager houses, yeah. Well, some of them. Not a big fan of uh, Billy's house in this game, because it's... Billy's house in this game just weirds me out, although Billy himself just weirds me out, so, you know. His house just adds to that. Uh, it looks like a um, public washroom, because it has, like, a bunch of toilets with... Um, separators in between them, and, like, a garbage bin right at the door. So, yeah. And that's where he lives. Okay. <laughs> yep. Yep. Definitely an interesting choice. Um... That's fine. Yeah, I like Slushy. Why, why are the ones with the... Like, why is that two characters say that we need to change what they say when they're already saying something cool? Talk to everyone? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I think we've talked to everyone except for Ava, who lives right here, so... Presumably she should be... Yeah, we only found two fossils today. Yeah, that... I mean, to be fair, I'm kind of really rushing around. Because my brain is going all over the place. Um... I mean, I clean a bit every day at home, Ava. Like... In my, like, adulting spreadsheet that I go through every day, like, page two is... All, it, you know, is, each day it'll ha it has one of, like, the rooms in my house and, you know, do some cleaning in that room. Although sometimes I take a very narrow definition, or very, like broad definition of what that means. Like, it's like, oh, I'll take these few random pieces of paper on my desk and throw them in the garbage or whatever, right? Like, <laughs> technically it's cleaning in the my office or whatever, but, yeah. Okay. So we've talked to everybody. Um, we've... Found two fossils. Basically, tomorrow. Well, I, actually, I, like I said, probably not playing Animal Crossing tomorrow. Probably just gonna take t tomorrow at least in the morning to relax. Hopefully, still do the sub request stream in the evening. We'll see how it goes, though. But it's then Monday, I guess, when we play next. Um, I have to just keep our eyes extra open for uh, fossils. Also, if we find any more yet today while we're doing other stuff, great. But. I'm not going to be doing too much more here in my main town. I'm going to be heading over to my other town right away. Because we need to sell our turnips that are over there. Oh, actually. Oh, make it. Crap. Now she's going to be annoyed. Yep. I mean, when is she not annoyed? Hey, Lynx. Welcome in. How's it going? How are you doing? I am doing okay. Um, yeah. Bit stressed from a situation earlier involving um, involving uh, the bank, but situation, like the person that I talked to at the bank was, you know, you know, very you know, easy to interact with and very apologetic, you know, 
not that it was her fault or whatever, or like, I mean, it's, you know, completely a technical issue. But yeah, for anyone who missed what it was, basically, I when I went to uh, withdraw rent today, I go and, uh, you know, go to withdraw rent, and it says insufficient funds, and yeah. Um, so I, I'm like, wait, what? I ch check my balance, and it was exactly $1,700 less than it should have been, putting it firmly in the negatives and close to, like, you know, um, close to maxing on my overdraft. And that's, of course, you know, no good, so went and, uh, went inside to figure out what was going on and such, to the bank to figure out, and turns out... Basically what had happened was, there was a check that had, um, it, it was from a check or whatever, which I never use checks, so that's right away like, okay, what? Basically, somebody with bank account number very similar to mine, just like one number different, and when they had signed their check, they had, like, you know, their signature had gone, like, outside of the area where you're supposed to sign or whatever, and had gone, like, over one of the numbers, and then the person they gave the check to or whatever, they had just done, like, you know, the thing where you, like, take the picture of it or whatever, like, you know, do electronic deposit, and the computer program, because of the, 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 the one line from the signature going over the one number, thought a nine was an eight, and thus thought it was, thus it was, you know, done for my account, and such. Um, so, you know, luckily, like, you know, very easy to figure out what the issue was, and, you know, it's getting fixed and all that, so, you know, I'm getting my money back and everything or whatever, just, you know. So, not any mistake on my part, not any malicious situation just like you know random computer error easily fixable and such but still just the extra unexpected the unexpectedness of like suddenly you know mo you know money being missing and then having to go and you know have a unexpected social and you know uh, like interaction with another person to you know go and deal with it or whatever uh, I mean that's that's the reason you know I didn't do the Star Wars RPG today and this is also so late it's just because of you know, being stressed out over that and such, but luckily, like I said, it's being dealt with, you know, everything's good, like, it will take a couple of days for me to have the money back just because of the fact that, like, you know, has to go through whatever channels and, like, talk to whoever and whatnot, but, yeah, so money will be back in my account on... Uh, on Monday, I think. But, yeah. So, my brain's just kind of going all over the place right now as a result. <laughs> okay, um... I just realized what I forgot to do. Uh... Kind of same with, yeah. You know, I'm just gonna grab that stationary later when I'm ready to go back. Okay, uh, what are they selling turnip or selling? What are they buying turnips for here? What was it? And what was it? In Trantor again? Fudge. It was like 90, or it was 80 or 90 something in Trantor. 67 here. Um. Uh, what are we looking at? What are we looking at? This. We bought them for 107, so we're t taking a loss regardless. But it's less of a loss in Trantor. I was hoping it would be less of a... I was okay with it being a loss. I was just hoping it would be 
less of a loss here, so I didn't have to keep going back and forth to bring them all over. Um, da -da 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 Uh, oh wait. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? Um, I'm gonna check if there's anything up here that I need. If there is, I'm gonna buy that. Anything I don't need, I'm not gonna buy, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry about raffle tickets here today. I'm just going to check if there's anything I actually need for the catalog. Just so that we're not taking too much time. Uh, I don't think there's anything I need, but I'm just gonna double check to make sure. Uh, nope. Corn plant. No. Clock. And you know what happened, of course. It was probably... We probably had, like, a price spike in at least one of my towns on, uh... Which was the day that I cancelled. Wednesday? That's my guess. Wednesday was probably the day we had a price spike. Because... I mean, obviously it's perfectly possible that there just wasn't a price spike in either town this week. Like, that was actually, like, perfectly plausible. But, because I didn't play that day, I am working under the assumption that there was a price spike that day that I just missed out on. Because that is the assumption that I make about the way the universe works. Okay, vibraphone. Didn't we have this in Trantor today as well? We did. I remember saying T-U-V when I was looking, going through my list to figure out the alphabet. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do, going to do, going to do, going to do, um, oh, and we have Wendell in town as well. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, think, brain, think. And what time is it? A14. Oh, they have something lost. Okay, what do they have lost? We'll worry about one thing at a time, Eric. Check what they have lost. And then we'll check along the beach for Gulliver while also... Oh, stationary. That's interesting. Of course that's mine, Booker. We also would both have stationery. Nobody else writes letters. Only I write letters. What about all the letters I could get? Where do they come from? Because I'm not writing letters to myself. So I guess everyone else does use stationery as well. So crisis averted. Um. Let's see. Um. Um. Oh, right, I need to catch fish. I don't have my fishing rod. <laughs> Is Nook selling a fishing rod today in this town? If so, I'm just going to buy the fishing rod so I can go catch a fish. And then... And then, uh... Then the next step. Give the fish to... Wendell. Selling a fishing rod? Yes, he is. Awesome. Good stuff. <laughs> then we'll just leave the fishing rod lying around or something somewhere. I don't know. We'll deal with the fishing rod afterwards. Oof. 
Anyone want a fishing rod? I have an extra one once, as soon as I catch a single fish. Um, and then, and then we'll use it to take over the world. We'll use the fishing rod to take over the world. I don't know how yet, but we will figure out a way. I mean, how else would you take over the world except with a fishing rod? Like, gotta be logical here. Fishing rods are the key to world domination. Um, yeah. Now let's see here. I mean, that's a bit further than I needed to... The fish is just in a very awkward location. Lynx, thank you for that host. Very much appreciated. Very much so. Uh, if any of you aren't following Lynx, go do so right now. That's an order. This is your captain speaking, giving you a direct order. Follow Lynx. Let me even make it easier for you. And give Lynx a shout out with my shout out command. Just need to learn how to spell. There we go. They were last playing blank. Um, you just not have a game set, or is my bot not working, or is the bot? Because it goes with whatever, like, you have set as your, like, game, so if you don't have a game set, it would do that. Not sure if it's a problem on Moobot's end or on Twitch's end, or if you just weren't, uh, or if you just, you know, didn't set like category, I should say, because it isn't necessarily games, but yeah, because it kind of just goes whatever category you currently have set. Obviously, it's not a big deal, you know. Is curious. Hey Wendell, I'll be with you in a moment. I just need to catch you a fish first. Oh fish, where are you? I want to feed you to a walrus to get a wallpaper. You know, because why else would you feed a walrus except for getting a wallpaper? Just, you know, it's logical. Where are the fish? It's almost like they're scared of being eaten. Okay. Now. Okay. Am I just like... Is anyone else seeing... Just no fish, or what's going on here? There's a fish. Now just make sure you catch it, Eric. Gotcha. Oh, barred knife jaw, even. See, it's nice because it was like on the fifth time. It always, it, it, it'll, if it doesn't go, it, it'll go. The thing will go down on like. Fifth bob at the latest, so I was just counting the bobs as soon as I saw the fourth one. I'm like, okay, I know the next bob is actually it going down. Uh, yes, it's all yours. Okay. Wallpaper, wallpaper, wallpaper. Come on, Desert Vista.
Desert Vista, please. I'll also accept Lunar Horizon, Meadow Vista, Ringside Seating, or Sandlot Wall. And the survey says... Mortar Wall. How dare you? I caught a barred knife jaw for you. No respect. No respect, I tells you. Okay. Um... So what we're going to do... We're going to do... What are we going to do? Well, firstly and foremostly... Um... Now they're just taunting me. I'm just gonna drop a... Uh, That, that, and that, and hold that, and I think what we're going to do, even though it'll be less money selling them here, honestly, I'm okay with that. I just want to, um... Get this done as quickly as possible. Ooh, um... Yeah, we'll just, we'll just grab... Like, I'm not sure how many... actually sell at once. Yeah, I don't want to do multiple trips back and forth. And like, we're losing money regardless. I just don't want to lose too much money. Fingers crossed? What do you mean fingers crossed? We already know what we're, we're getting for it. Oh right, the other stationary. I was like, didn't I already pick up the stationary? Wasn't that what I dropped over there? But that was stationary from the, uh, from the, uh, Lost and found. Okay. okay. How much, um, will I get for... Oof. Yeah, full inventory's worth, and I can still carry all the money on me. Think about that compared to, like, some of the weeks where it's just, like, I can only sell, like, you know, like, six sets of... I can still easily carry the money on me at that. But I just don't want to take too much. I just don't want to have to do the constant back and forth. Um... Well, the, the, the final set we'll bring back with Trantor, to Trantor, just, you know, to at least get a bit more profit on the last set, but overall we're just coming, trying to get this done quickly. Yeah. That's fine. You know, not every week is going to be a massive, like, profit. Like, we, we, we knew that going in, like, that's part of strategy, like, um, what you do is you, you know, do a week after week after week, and slowly but surely, you know, the weeks you get You'll have more, you know, overall you'll get more money than you lose using this strategies, you know. Because it's all about, um... It's all about playing the odds and such. Um, it's strategy. Okay, 
because it's... what was it? As long, if you're spending the same amount each week on turnips, um, one week with a price spike will make up for, I think it was like five weeks without. So... At least five weeks without, because even then, even without a price spike, like, um, like, you, that doesn't actually even mean a loss. Like, yes, this week, it's a loss. We're losing money on our terms this week, but that's like, well, that's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. Things happen exactly. At least we're still getting some money back, like... It wasn't like that one week where I ended up, like, uh... Completely not even streaming on the Saturday, and then it was like... Welp, just complete loss. Here, at least, you know, we're getting some of our money back. Next time, hopefully better. Which, like I said, won't be... Probably won't be tomorrow. I'm probably gonna take off tomorrow morning from streaming. Hopefully still do the Star Request stream in the evening, just no Animal Crossing tomorrow. And, um... Okay, so... That was everything in B2, right? Yeah. So let's... Um... If it weren't for the fact that I had all these raffle... Or raffle tickets, uh, turnips. Probably would have just cancelled today <laughs> as well, but... Wanted to at least get back what I could. As well as, ho as hoping to get, you know, the dumb model today because of spring cleaning, but as we learned... We are a bit late, too late on that. Tortimer was already gone by the time we showed up. So, meaning 100% animal, animal Crossing is going to take at least until May 1st of next year. That's fine. You know, that's not much further than the March whatever of next year that we already knew was going to be... Um, Oh, um... We have the, yeah, we have the partial set. The ten set as well. Okay. And then, um... What am I thinking? I was thinking of something. But now my brain is like, nope, not anymore, you're not. Thinking is overrated, apparently. Okay. And, we, and uh, we'll see how long this takes. Might still tr try uh, getting two more wallpapers from Wendell there with uh, two of my characters in this town. Uh, probably um, Carla and one of the other two. Then we can also pay off Carla's next debt, whatever it may be. Get closer to getting her a statue as well. Eventually we're going to need to create a fourth character for this town. We have I'll need to figure, actually figure out a name for a fourth character from this town. Because James, Jonathan, Carla were all easy. Like I said, those are all characters from, like, stuff I've 
written slash created slash whatever. But I can't really think of a good, like, fourth character to take from that set. Um... like James and Jonathan are twin brothers and like the kids of uh, Rick and Samantha which are you know two of my characters from Trantor um then Carla is somebody that works with James and Jonathan like and such um I can think of two other characters that work with them but whose names I do not remember this was characters that I created years ago and haven't really used in much since. I was with, specifically with Lego that I created them, so it's not like it, it's something I specifically actually wrote, so I don't, have, I don't think I actually have the names written down anywhere. I'm trying to think, like, James and Jonathan cousins, because I know they have at least three cousins, but I never, those were great characters that are just kind of like, oh yeah, you know, that I know exists, but never actually did anything with, it, not even like ever gave the characters names or whatever. Because like, oh wait, I draw the money. Because like, Rick or whatever, he has a brother, um... Riley, who has a daughter, and that was also something I had in mind, but I never actually, like, used the character, so I never actually gave her a name, and then, and Samantha's brother, um, Jake, I always had the idea that he eventually got married and had two kids, but I never really, um, did anything with him in that era. So most of like the Jake stories I have are prior to him starting a family. I just like the idea of him eventually actually having that like happy ending of not actually. Um, where are we going here? Not uh, or eventually yeah, having a happy ending of just like you know settling down and being able to live his life the way he wants to instead of just being a, a warrior in, in the constant fight. But yeah. Because Jake is a character. He's somebody who is one of the best of the characters I created, like, he's one of the top, uh, like, fighters. Like, he, he's a sword fighter, specifically. He's a sword fighter in a science fiction world. Like, um, you know, think, like, Star Wars, Star Trek, like, you know, you know, everyone else using, like, energy weapons and such. And here's a guy using, like, a sword and doesn't lose fights <laughs> and such. He's just that good. But he hates fighting. <laughs> Which... I, I always like that. Characters like that, you know. The, 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 they're an amazing fighter, but they actually... They don't like fighting. They just, you know... Put in situations where they have to. Okay. So I'm just realizing, I have at least two characters named Jake, because there'd be Jake Telleros, which is the one that, like, my Animal Crossing character here is named after the one I've just been talking about, and I have Jake Johnson, who is, um, 
character from actually the series I'm currently writing. And neither of them actually like fighting, although Jake Johnson isn't like, I mean, he's he's genetically enhanced and such to be stronger, faster than an average person. So he's definitely better than an average person in a fight, but he's a doctor and such. I'm just realizing there's a lot of, they have a lot of, two Jakes have a lot of similarities in their personalities. And they're also both twins, I'm just realizing. Because yeah, Jake, Teleros, and Samantha. Jake and Samantha Teleros are twins, and then Jake and Lyle Johnson are twins. I have a lot of twins and stuff I've written, apparently. Because we have, yeah, Jake and Lyle Johnson, um... Elizabeth and Alexandra Johnson. There were two sets of twins in the Johnson family. Uh, actually, I mean, r really, like... So... Jake and... Samantha Teller or whatever, like, Samantha's kids... Uh, uh, Jane, James and Jonathan... Are twins. But then also... Um, Jake and Samantha... Because uh, Dad Rupert is also a twin with Roger. Don't know if the twins in the family tree go back even further, but that's at least like three generations of twins there, <laughs> which is amusing to me. I mean, obviously, I'm the one who I'm the one who created it, so it's like I'm being amused by my own by my own creations. But to be amused by your, your own creations. I mean, I'd say a lot of writers are probably amused by their own creations, that's why they create it. That's why they write it, because they're amused by it. But yeah. <laughs> Sounds awesome, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. I needed to do more of the actual writing, though, instead of just all the, like, up here stuff. That's definitely an issue of mine at times. Heck, like, with, um, my current series and such, like, lately I've been doing work, like, I, I, I'm i still, I'm still writing the first story. It's gonna be, like, a monthly short story series, you know. It, 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 granted, it's not gonna be, I'm not plan, currently planning on launching it until, like, next year. Like, it's over a year away, but then once I start doing that, the like, plan is to put up, like, a short story every month, right? Um... Of this thing. And, um, as of right now, yeah, I'm still working on writing the first story, but I've also been doing a lot of, in my head, working on what is going to be either the 18th or 19th story. <laughs> Which, to be fair, a lot of that was just because of when I was recently doing a rewatch of Punisher Season 2. And there was, like, there was an episode in there that I was like, oh, hey, I kind of want to do something somewhat similar to that at some point. And I was like, you know, that would be a good story for, like, right around the end of the second volume. Because, like, each, every ten stories in the series is going to be kind of a volume or whatever and such. Um, and I was like, you know, not, not the last one, but the last story of the volume I already kind of have... I, I don't even have a plot. I know, like, this, the last story of each volume is pretty much going to be, you know, taking down the main villain of the volume, right? There's, each volume is going to have, like, a main villain or villains, I guess. So I already know, like, the last story is going to be that, but then, like, you know, what what's going to be the second or third? Because I know, like, one of the last stories of the volume, which is also going to be 18th or 19th story, or, or be a tie-in board game is going to be a time loop episode, uh, story. <laughs> not episode, it's not a TV show. But, but then the other one is going to be a, the one I've worked in my head recently, is going to be a massive bounty has been put on the characters, the main characters, and, um, 
Yeah, finish off the sticker. Uh, E5 is right there. And uh, so, like, every bounty hunter, assassin, or pretty much every bounty hunter, assassin, mercenary, just like any general lowlifes who want to collect on the bounty, in this part of the, in the local part of the galaxy, are after my main characters. Um, and uh, the story itself is going to be, you know, kind of divided up into kind of like multiple smaller stories of like, because, you know, the various characters are going to be, because I have like a cast of, main cast of 16 characters. So they're going to be like in smaller groups doing whatever various things they're doing when, you know, all of a sudden all these people start coming after them and such. So there's going to be like, you know, different exact things going on with each of them and such as far as what situations they're in when this happens. What are the chances? Uh, no. The only tree over here is this and it's not in line with that. But yeah. Yeah, I, I, I love coming up with stories and such for this. The time loop, like I said, which is going to also be, you know, 18th or 19th story, or be a tie-in board game. I would really love to do it as a board game. C can you imagine a board game that, like, with a time loop thing, like, you know, like, Groundhog Day or other example, the Windows, whatever the Star Stargate episode was, or the Star Trek Generation episode. Um... Because the way I, I would have it set up is, like, um, the player characters are, you know, aware of what's happening in each loop. And the way this would re be represented, so ev every, you know, however many turns or whatever, like, the game resets, except for knowledge cards of the player characters. There will be knowledge cards of, you know, whatever they've learned or whatever. And so they still, you know, if they learn a skill during the during the loop, they still have it because they still remember the previous loops. And then also the players themselves remember things. Because, like, let's say, um, you know, there would be, like, a threat deck. Like, okay, this is, you know, threat deck where, like, bad stuff happens, you know, each turn, right? Like, let's say three cards from the th uh, threat deck get played each turn. I don't know the exact mechanic what they're going to be, but let's say that as an example. And, um... The thing is, though, when you reset the game, at the start of the game, obviously, you, you shuffle the deck and everything, right? But when the, the game resets, you don't shuffle the deck again. You just place the cards back in the exact same order that they were drawn. So the players now know exactly what's coming up. Um, at least and as far as they... As far as they went to or whatever, because, like... Because I, I say, like, three a turn. There will be, like, certain things that will cause you to draw more or possibly even less depending on exactly how the game is going or whatever so like even though if it's a, each it's the same amount of turns until the reset each time um the amount of like cards that will get drawn from that deck might be different each t any given loop depending on what the characters all do and such or the players all do and such and whatnot but because they know oh the next card is this. Okay, so we need to be prepared for that. Oh, this is coming up. Let's deal with that. And, like, yeah, I, I there will be a lot of work in, you know, figuring out how to make this work and what, how to all do it and play testing and whatnot. So I probably never, I probably won't actually make this as a board game. I'll, I probably will just, you know, do it as, um... Just as a story, but it would be fun. Um, that should be fifteen there. Oh, what else am I bringing back? I'm bringing back two things of stationery. Okay, so that's the rest of that. We're gonna bring back the Trantor to sell because we're gonna get a bit more in Trantor than we did here. Um, not much more, but a bit more. So that'll. 
work out. And yeah. And also, like, the game would probably actually, like, I was saying a threat deck. Technically, the game would probably have multiple threat decks. Th decks. There would be the main one that's, like, you know, automatically gets played, but then there would be other specific ones that only get played under certain circumstances. Like, um, as an example, um, there's, like, the Cardalian Empire, which is, like, an alien empire in, in my series or whatever, and, like... If you go into their space, then like, then the Cardalian Empire threat deck would come into play, as an example. Um, potentially, even if you went into like, there might be other situations as well where it come into play, but to default that one wouldn't be in play type thing. Um, similar, like there would be like different ones or whatever that yeah, depending on what you do, you might bring you know, other ones into play and such and. Yeah, um, and there'll also probably be, like, ally decks as well, where it's just like, you know, you contact these allies or whatever, and then you can bring their deck into play, or, I don't know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of ideas of how it would work, and I would, there's be a lot of work to actually, you know, implement it. Okay, um, that's all my turnips. Um, so... We can get rid of that. We can get rid of that. Honestly, we can get rid of that, because... Yeah. Okay. Uh, and we have as much money as I can carry in my wallet. And we're also going to grab the stationery. And we're going to head back. And that's stationary. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna leave the wallpaper for now. Um, yeah. Because with this, also with this series, I wanted to kind of use it as a way of telling pretty much any kind of story I want, regardless of genre. The series itself overall is going to be like a generally a science fiction series. It'll also have fantasy elements. Um, there's going to be a lot of political stuff in the series, uh, some relationship stuff, and. <laughs> Yeah. S superhero stuff as well. I said there's 16 main characters. One of them is a superhero. <laughs> and such. So. And a big part of the first story arc involves superheroes as well. Um, first volume. Sounds very interesting. Yep. Um, there, I myself will be a recurring character in the series. I'm going to first show up in the eighth story, then again in the tenth story, then in, then next in the, um, in the, uh, time loop one. And then, after that, I'm not sure. After that, maybe next, probably in sometime in the fourth volume. So in, like, you know, the th 30s story, like, 30-something. But we'll see. We'll see exactly how it goes. Um... Yeah. 
There's gonna be one future volume that's going to be, um, actually the War of the Eryx, which is gonna be three different alternate universe versions of me going to war. Because... That, that, that makes sense. <laughs> okay, um... Let's see my catalog. Let's update my numbers. Get rid of that. Bring up that. So 447, that'll be from those two pieces of furniture I bought from Red yesterday. Wasn't able to update it then because of it being, you know, raffle day, so we couldn't look at our catalog. Uh, 447 divided by 601 equals 74 percent um so yeah we're still at 74 percent everything else i think should be normal are unchanged 63 clothing 164 items 44 stationary 61 all of the gyroids all of the fossils oh music i should be i still need to get a new song from kk slider today what have I even been doing with my brain? Okay, um... Let's do that right now. Okay. So as per usual, I'm going to turn off my mic while we... Listen to KK Slider. And yeah. Let's see what we've got. KK Aria. Nice. Very nice song. That's, yeah. Really like that one. I mean, uh, uh, KK Slider, he is a true artist. Okay, uh. Pop in a tune. Okay. 
Okay. Let's pick up my stuff again. And uh, let's see now. That goes there, goes there, goes there, goes there. Awesome. Okay, let's go deposit this money. And then, um, <coughs> let's go grab uh, two more wallpapers from Wendell. sink. Hopefully that fixed it. Um, let's go save and the quit. And then um, switch over to another character. My other town's obviously quickly swap the memory card. As soon as we're done saving here, I'm gonna go. Okay, give me a moment. Oh, I just realized I left up the. Music last. Um, so I should bring up the wallpaper list. That's what we're going for. Does Carla have a fishing rod? No, we can just grab the one we bought with Rick before. Oh, she does already. No worries then. And she has a gift in the mail. What is that from home? Oh, look at that. Make, okay. I didn't even look at who moved away from Trantor today. Oh, well. Uh, let's go talk to Nook. Get uh, that dealt with. Oh, Nook! Yep. Uh, three ninety. Okay. Okay. I wasn't sure which upgrade it was that we had just done, but we have enough uh, cash on us. To um, pay it off right in one go. And then get the next upgrade, which I don't know if the next one is going to be the basement or it's going to be the final upgrade. Don't know if she got the basement already or not, don't remember. Um. Yeah. But we'll find it soon enough. Okay, now let's see what she got here. Deep blue tea. Mm.
I'm not sure I like either of these clothes for her, but I think this one's more... This one's less bad. <laughs> okay, let's go get whatever the next upgrade is, and then we'll go... Actually, let's just catch a fish right here for Wendell. If we can. Wow, this thing does not want to be caught. <laughs> so that one would have actually worked where the fish was, but then also decided to move. Gotcha. Gotcha, you tiny little bastard. Okay. Let's go get our next upgrade, and then we'll find Wendell. And get our self, uh, hopefully, new wallpaper. Yep. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Final, final. Final upgrade. Oh, um, what, what color roof do we go with her again? Uh, roof, paint, Carla, black. Awesome. And then let's go find Wendell. I mean, we'll go just to the lost and found and, you know, ask. And then we'll get one more. I ah, with either James or Jonathan, but that doesn't really matter. They've both already paid off their debt in full, so. Um, it's not really anything we're doing with either of them at the moment. D2. Mighty Ducks. D2 is... There, by Bangles House Cat. She doesn't have a shovel. Okay. Let's go, and fingers crossed, it's a wallpaper we need, like Desert Vista, um, or, let me just give it a fish, yeah, Desert Vista, Lunar Horizon, Meadow Vista, Ringside Seating, or Sound Lot Wall. That's what we need, Wendell. That's what we need. Give me what I need, please, and thank you. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. And without further ado, it is... Ringside seating. That's new. Awesome. Progress. Progress, thy name is ringside seating. Obviously, we're not taking off the list yet, because uh, we still need to get back to our main character, Rick, which we'll do next time we play. Let's just store that in her gyro for Rick to pick up. Awesome. Awesome possum. And, um... just want to just sell the, uh... Deep Blue Tea. Yeah, and any time we can, um... Yeah, got something new is awesome, especially with the, um, the Wendell, uh, wallpapers because of the fact that it's just RNG, so getting the ones we actually need as opposed to just getting duplicates of ones we already have got is completely up to the RNG gods, and today, at least this time, they favored us. Um... So just pick up a ton of money so that she can more easily pay off her debt next time we play as her. Oh, 
we can also throw this away. And we can put one more into our wallet. Okay. Anyone have a preference as to whether I use James or Jonathan to get the uh, next wallpaper? Actually, I think, I think I'm going to go with Jonathan so we can use his weird Jedi powers to uh, increase our chances. Because Jonathan, when I've used him, when I've like, played with Lego, I always have him as a Jedi. Within my own series, he won't be a Jedi because of, you know, copyright issues, but in his original Lego incarnation, he was a Jedi with an orange lightsaber. A brilliant idea. But that's for the future. Why does he still have a letter on? No idea. Wait. Huh. Oh, because he has gyroids in his house. Of course, they're gonna love this when it's full of gyroids. Um, okay, let's go grab a fish. Yeah, fishy, 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 fishy. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Both Jonathan and Carla caught the same kind of fish. A loach. Helian loach, mayhaps? Mayhaps indeed. Mayhaps not. No way to know for sure. Unless we ask Link. He won't say anything, so there's still no way to know for sure. Okay, tell me where Wendell is, please. And thank you. E1. So that should be just like one of the EA acres, right? Yeah, so just. Oh, by Alfonso's house. Awesome. I know exactly where Alfonso's house is. So onwards to Alfonso. Okay, around here. Okay. We want um, Desert Vista, Lunar or Loser, Lunar Horizon, or Meadow Vista, or Sandlot Wall. Wow, that's only four left then that I need to get. For anyone who just came in and it's like, what would work side seating? I got that with uh, Carla. I just have to get back to Rick before I actually remove it from the list. And survey says. Lunar Horizon! We got... Oh, nice. I was right to use the Jedi. <laughs> okay. So, we got two of the ones I needed from Wendell today. Um, so we still need Desert Vista, Meadow Vista, and San Lawa. So we only need three more from Wendell. And we are getting Wendell again in my other town on Monday. Which means, um, while not likely, it is possible now, because we have three left and you can get three per visit, that means we're now at the point where any given visit from Wendell could be the visit where we get the remaining wallpapers we need. Uh, it's just all down to the RNG. But uh, now that we've got all three from Wendell and a little left, so we can find out who the next visitor is. 
red. Awesome. Um, where's my mouse? So, red, and when? May 7th. So that would be Friday? Oh. Okay. Ooh, that's actually rough. Because, like, Red, when he comes, he comes on at 6 p.m. and stays till the following day at 6 p.m., right? Which means he'll be here 6 p.m. Friday to 6 p.m. Saturday. The problem is, because of the difference between my weekday and weekend Animal Crossing streams, my weekday Animal Crossing streams are usually, um, you know, like... Three to five ish, which means Red won't have shown up yet by the time I start playing. My Saturdays Animal Crossing streams are usually around start around seven p.m. ish, which means Red will have already left. Um, I mean, we'll we'll see how it goes. Like maybe next Friday I'll just you know go a bit longer with Animal Crossing to pass the six o'clock. Um, and just do stuff, do it then, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, for now, I know it's only been hour 42 minutes, a shorter stream today. Um, obviously we didn't even have the Star Wars RPG and the shorter Animal Crossing, but that's just the way it goes sometimes. We got done what we needed to do, mostly. Uh, one of the things that would have needed to have started earlier, but we didn't. And... That's just the way it goes. I mean, had we done the Star Wars RPG, we would have been too late anyway for the spring cleaning event. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we're going to go raid somebody, though. So, uh, let's see. Who do we want to raid? Could raid somebody playing Pokemon Sword slash Shield. Um, could raid somebody playing New Pokemon Snap. Could raid somebody playing Pokemon Yellow. I think it's going to be one of those games, so let me know in chat if you have a preference between any of those games I just mentioned. Otherwise, I'll decide myself who we're going to go and raid, and yeah. And I will hopefully be back tomorrow. Um, I don't I don't think I'm going to do, be doing the morning Animal Crossing stream, um, but uh, uh, hopefully still doing the Summer Quest Sunday stream at 4 p.m., Central Daylight Time, which will be Pokemon Blue. Then Monday we'll be back with Animal Crossing, standard 3 p.m. All weekday streams should be 3 p.m. Central Daylight Time, starting with Animal Crossing, followed by usually something else. So like Monday after Animal Crossing will be Blaster Master. Tuesday is just Animal Crossing. Wednesday after Animal Crossing is hopefully beating Rogue's, Star Wars Rogue Squadron 3, Rebel Strike. Thursday after Animal Crossing, doing some more Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Friday after Animal Crossing, doing Lego the Hobbit, unless, depending on how long we go with Animal Crossing, if we want to do the red thing, we might just be Animal Crossing, we'll see how it goes. And next Saturday, we'll be back to the Star Wars RPG, 4 p.m. Central Daylight Time, uh, with Animal Crossing afterwards. And yeah, uh, since somebody has a preference for who we go and raid, I think, I think, I think... We are going to raid... <laughs> Who are we going to raid? Brain freezing. Um... Da -da 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 Um, 
No, I, I think we don't think we're even writing anyone today. I think we're just going to end here. Thanks everyone for coming out. Those who chatted, those who just lurked, those who hosted or auto-hosted. You're all wonderful people. Thank you for hanging out. It's been a blast, and I will see you all later. Bye.